Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, Rob has this really cool friend, a poet named Double T. That's short for Tommy Trueborn. Double T is homeless, and he sells his poems on the street corner where he lives. But Rob is worried that something bad has happened to Double T, because when he took Jamal to Double T's corner... What happened? Where's Double T? It's weird, and it looks as if Double T has disappeared into thin air. And look at this. What is it? Double T's book. And the teens on the case searching for clues in the poems Double T left behind. They read one called Saigon and figured out something important. Saigon, former name of the capital of South Vietnam. Double T, he could have been the war. Another poem has lots of clues. It says, Torre Light at the Long Tunnel's End. But the team doesn't know what the clues mean yet. Rob's dad works at the Veterans Administration, a place that has lots of information about soldiers. So Rob asked his dad to help find out where Double T used to live. Well, I can't do that, Rob. It's confidential. The only people who can look at the files on the vets are members of their own family. So Rob went to a homeless shelter where Double T sleeps sometimes to try to find him. He met a girl named Lisa who was looking for someone, too. Her father, Thomas Norbert. I've been searching for him ever since I got off the bus from Connecticut. Rob read a postcard Lisa's father had sent her and discovered something really important. Hey, this is something. They have a lot of the same letters. And while the team's been working hard to find Double T, Jamal's grandma has been working, too. She's a mail carrier, but she's run into some trouble doing her job. Winston, you haven't seen the last of C.C. Jenkins' letter carrier. Can the team track down Double T before something really bad happens? And what's going on with Lisa's dad? Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Oh, get serious. I am serious. I think Double T is your father. You, you think that the guy that you're looking for is my dad? There's no way. That is, that is too weird. I have an idea. My dad he works at the VA. He couldn't help me because I'm not a media family. But if you'll come with me tomorrow... No, I've been there already. All right, this is the number where I'm staying. If you think there is really a chance... Where Double T hung out. Let's meet there tomorrow after I get out of school. So we know Double T didn't buy a candle at the candle store. We need to take another look at this poem called To the Light. Leah Flynn, your sacred names could have another meaning. I wonder if Rob found any more clues. And where's Tina? She's helping her mother cook for the dinner party tonight. She told me to tell you guys not to be late. Hey, I'm never late for dinner, and I'm always ready to party. <laughs> hey, Rob, come on in. Uh, I can't stay. See, yesterday I went to the shelter where Double T sleeps. Was he there? Uh, no, but I met his daughter. He has a daughter? Her name is Lisa. She's looking for him, too. I have to meet her in a few minutes. Well, why don't you bring her back here? We can all look for Double T together. It'd be kind of hard to explain Ghost Rider to Lisa. We wouldn't have to explain anything. Lisa won't be able to see Ghost Rider. Yeah, that's right. We can help you, Rob. Look, thanks. Thanks for all your help, but... Well, Lisa's having a real hard time. It's real personal. And it's like it's just between us, because Double T means something to us, you know? So... I think I better just help Lisa by myself. You sure? Yeah, I guess. She won't understand why so many other people have to be in on it, you know? Thanks, though. I'll let you know what happens. Bye. Is it just me? Or does anybody else feel dumped? <sighs> I do. Well, maybe Rob's right. It would have been hard to work on the case with someone that doesn't know about Ghost Rider. He could have at least tried. But think about it. This wasn't just for Rob. It was about helping someone who's really in trouble. I hear you. We've got to keep on trying to help Rob search for Double T. What do you say? We should vote. OK, I vote in favor of helping Rob. Yeah, Rob is on the team. He said he doesn't want any help, so I'm voting no. 
Me too. Well, looks like two in favor, two against. It's a tie. Not yet. There's still another team member in the room. Yeah. Searching for double T. Yeah, you're right. I'm changing my vote. Me too. That settles it. Let's go and try and solve that case. Yeah. It's not all right. You brought it all the way from Vietnam. Uh, is that why it was your favorite platter? Because you love the big white flower? Yes. The flower is called Mai. You told me people put it out during Tet, the Vietnamese New Year celebration. When everyone is forgiven, we would put the flowers on the windowsill to keep the bad spirits away. When I was a girl in Vietnam, Mai was my favorite flower. I would love to see real Mai again. his book of poems under this crate. And this wasn't broken till yesterday. Kept his place as nice as he could. Why? Why would he want to waste his life here? He's not wasting his life. He sells his poems on this corner, and he tries to help people. When I was having a hard time trying to explain to my dad why I wanted to be a writer, I talked to Double T about it. Have you ever... Ever had a hard time explaining to somebody what you feel about something? Uh, lots. What'd you do? Well, that's a tough one. Is this somebody, someone you care a lot about? Uh-huh. You ever try writing it down? It can help you figure out what you want to say. And it's better than talking sometimes because you can work on it until you get it right. And he was right. I wrote a poem. And I gave it to my dad. Well, did it make a difference? I think so. Although my dad's not really much for poetry, he's always on my case about joining the sports team. It's OK. It's just, well, it's not me. Double T helped me. So he helped you. That's really great. You know, well, how come he has time for everyone except me? I don't think he meant Look, to. Look, let's just go to the VA, and maybe your dad will be more helpful than the guy I talked to a couple days ago. Well, Ghost Rider's trying to find Double T. I wonder why Ghost Rider cares so much about him. Well, remember when we first met Ghost Rider? He was feeling lost, alone, and sad. Yeah, and Double T's poem, To the Lights, seems sad and lonely. I don't know. It just doesn't feel sad to me. Look at this part. And so I bang, and I bust, and I break my way free. Be myself toward a light at the long tunnel's end. That sounds like he's fighting his way out of being sad. Yeah, and Ghost Rider said that a light at the long tunnel's end means a chance for hope. Maybe a tunnel's end is a place where he's going to stop feeling sad. What if it's a real tunnel he's writing about? There are lots of tunnels in New York. Papa and I go through the Holland Tunnel to New Jersey to buy vegetables for the store. But you need a car to go through tunnels. You don't need a car to go through subway tunnels. All you have to do is pay your fare. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll get off my bed. A guy my dad works with in the subway made these. Subway maps painted by hand. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get it off.
excuse me, sir. You? You as a girl always making movies. Yes, sir. I was wondering. Well, I'll do it. Do what? Be the star of your next film. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Tell me then. I've been looking all over the neighborhood for my, you know, the white flower. But no one has them. The owner of the restaurant told me to ask you. I used to grow my flowers, the biggest in my village. But here, where would you grow them in New York? You can only buy plastic. Oh. Why does this matter so much? My mother brought a platter from Vietnam. It had a picture of the flower. Today, by accident, I broke it. My was my mother's favorite flower. I just wanted to try and find some for her. I know. I know a very wise and patient man who grows that flower in New York when it's warm like this. And the man is also very handsome, like a film star. So you do grow the flowers? Perhaps. Will you put me in your next movie? Perhaps. How about last week's Fort Green Shopper? <gasps> now look, I've been delivering the mail since you were a wag in your mom's tail. And neither rain, nor snow, nor sleet, nor some hairy little mutt is going to keep C.C. Jenkins' letter carrier from doing her job. Well, OK. You win for now. I've got to go home and make lunch for my family. But I'll be back. Well, what's this? Well, well, well. Her father is the one I'm looking for. Um, she's immediate family. I didn't have the last name right, but it's the same letters turned around. It's Thomas Norbert. Please check the computer. Even an old address might help us find him. I brought identification. You're from Connecticut. Where's your mother, Lisa? She's back home. But she's divorced from my father. And she knows that I'm here staying with friends. Mm -hmm. Well, you're certainly immediate family. Norbert, you say, huh? Yeah. N-O-R-B-U-R-T. Thomas. P.F.C. Norbert was in the Army from 1971 to 73. It seems that he picks up his mail from this location occasionally. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to give him his disability benefits since he stopped visiting the VA office in Connecticut. Disability? He's not missing a leg or anything. Well, no. Sometimes, well, there's a lot of ways soldiers can be hurt. Uh, it seems that he was in a counseling program. So, sometimes the hurt is inside. Why? Sometimes soldiers have painful memories of things that happened to them or to their friends during the war. These memories can keep them from holding a steady job or from showing how they feel, even to their family. Yeah, my dad was like that sometimes. Do you see any address? No, nothing in New York. Sorry. That's OK. Can you help me understand my father a little better? Thank you, Colonel. You're welcome. Thanks, Dad. Sure. See you. See you later. Don't worry. Tina will be here soon. Oh, please. We make all this for you. See? The maize I don. Deep-fried noodles with stir-fried vegetables. Tina made this herself. 
and kam chen, stir fried rice with egg, Chinese sausage, and vegetable. Please, eat with us. This incense smells like roses in a forest. I never heard it described that way. But thank you. We light it every day to honor our ancestors and people we respect. Thank you. Excuse me. They light incense to honor their ancestors and people who deserve respect. So lay a flame near sacred names could mean incense. You know that guy who sells incense near Double T's corner? Yeah, maybe Double T bought some from him. We should go back there first thing tomorrow. Yeah. Sorry, sorry I'm late. I'm sorry. Sorry. Tina, where have you been? Mom, No I... excuses for not being here for your guests. This party was for you and me. And for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful. There. Mr. Hush? Hey, 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 where do you think you two are going? It's hard to, to... No way. He's already in the sleeping area, and you're not allowed in there. Let's go. Hush knows something. I know, I think so too, but we can't talk to him. What if we write to him? Let's try anything. Dear Hush, please help us. We need to find Double T. We want to help him. Sincerely, Bob and Lisa. Now, if old Iron Badge will bend the rules a little bit, take the note to him. Excuse me. What is it now? Oh, we really need to talk to Hush. Could you give him this note? That's not my job. This is important. She's Double T's daughter. <sighs> all right, all right. But I'll tell you, once Hush goes in for the night, he doesn't come out till morning. So why don't you come back then? Deal? Deal. Deal. <laughs> Tina's party was fun. Yeah. Especially for you. Lenny and I found a clue about Double T. I think lay a flame in your sacred names means incense. We're gonna go check it out tomorrow. Good. But Alex... What? Aren't you scared of Double T a little? No, I'm not scared of Double T. Who is Double T? He's a friend of Rob's who's missing, and we're helping to find him. He's a homeless man, Papa. He sells poems on the corner near Mr. Mayron's store. Yeah, I know the one you mean. And you say you're helping Rob to find him? Uh-huh. He's Rob's friend, and Rob's really worried about him. Now, how does Rob know Double T? Well, Mrs. Lewis invited Double T to the youth center to read his poems, and he met Rob and they became friends there, talking about poetry. I see. I don't know. I think homeless people are scary. I'm not sure I should be looking for Double T. And what do you think about that? Well, I think Double T's okay, because he's been friends with Rob for a while now. And he helped Rob work out problems with his father. Uh, Mrs. Lewis wouldn't have invited him to the youth center if he weren't an okay person, right? That's true. Well, I'm glad you told me about this. You know, there is always a possibility of danger when you're talking with strangers. If you need to find out how to go somewhere, for example, it is better to ask a store clerk or a, a bus driver, someone who has a reason to be there instead of a complete stranger. Comprende? Si, papa. It is not safe to talk to homeless people that you do not know. Never? Well, you just can't be sure, hijo. So you just have to be careful. There are many homeless people who are very nice. 
And then there are many others who are deeply troubled and they are not safe to talk to. And that's not double T. What do you think, Gabriela? He needs our help. See, the best thing about you and Alejandro is that you care about other people. You want to help them. This is wonderful. So we shouldn't stop looking for him? No, I don't think you should stop. Just be careful about strangers always. We will, Papa. Good, cariño. Huh? Let's go to sleep, huh? Stay up reading too late, huh? So we went to the guy that sells incense. And he said that Double T bought some a couple of days ago. He also said that he didn't look too good. He seemed kind of nervous when he walked away. So he asked which way he went. And he pointed to the subway. Are you saying he got on a train? Yes. Great detective work. <laughs> we got the idea from the incense at Tina's. All right, let's put the sheet on the floor again, see if we can track him down. But seriously, this time. Sheet? with a subway map painted on it. Hey, guys, look. Ghost Rider's got something. Dear Lisa, how can I tell you what is... Ghost Rider did it! He tracked down Double T's handwriting. Yeah, and Double T's writing a letter to Lisa, his daughter. If Ghost Rider's reading a letter that Double T's writing, then Ghost Rider must be wherever Double T is. Right. So ask him. I'm one step ahead of you, Gab. Can you read anything else near double T? Oh, if you find some signs, maybe we could figure out where he is. Right. Okay, here it comes. to clear vision. Quarters only. Huh? I know I've seen it somewhere before. Here. Here, let me. <laughs> Thanks. around New York City. Statue of Liberty. Turn to clear vision. Quarters only. I get it! Let's get that sheet out. and you see all those places. So, Ghost Rider was reading the signs on the telescopes. Which means that Double T was standing near the telescopes. So Double T must be at the Statue of Liberty. That's it. Hold on. I don't think so. If Double T were actually at the Statue of Liberty, then the Statue of Liberty wouldn't be on the list of sites you can see from there. Oh. Right. Let's try and find the right place to where you would have to be to see all those sights. Hey, look over here. A South Ferry. Now, if I were Double T, I'd be able to see all the sights from here. Ellis Island, Statue of Liberty, Staten Island, and New Jersey. Yeah, and the subway tunnel goes right there. Hey, it's even the tunnel's end. Because South Ferry's the last stop on the subway. Yeah. Double T must be looking through the telescope at the South Ferry. Yes. If we leave this second, we're sure to find it. Yeah. Okay. 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 